My name is Marisa Elkin and this is my wellness journey. Last time I was struggling with my blood pressure. Um, I've been to the clinic, I don't know, three or four times and she says my blood pressure is perfect now, so don't have to worry about that. Still taking medicine, but lowest dosage. I was working on getting stronger. Now, I think I started out at five pounds. I was up to 15 now, we're up to 25. Now, just like anybody, don't like the numbers on the scale, so trying to bring those down. At first, it was really easy. Weight was coming off really fast. And now I guess my body kind of got used to that, that comfort zone. So her big goal is we're trying to start with losing more weight. Muscle tone is fine, her muscle build is fine as well. But now we want to kick that overdrive into cardio so that it'll help with the pounds. Now the challenges are, now that I've taken off some weight, keeping it off and going further. But like, I want to eat what I want to eat. I don't want to eat what I'm supposed to. So the dietitian has been calling me. We check in about every three, three weeks, usually. If, if this was easy, everybody would do it. You, you have to uh, you know, start cultivating a different lifestyle. It is a life change you know, for you, for your family as well. I do a lot of meal prep. If I don't have it done before the week happens, then it's not. I'm going to grab something that is not healthy for me. It's hard to be transparent with a trainer or a dietitian, but the more honest you are, the more that they can help you, and then you'll see results. Her attitude is different. It, it seems like her outlook on life is just. It's. She kind of has a spark when she comes in. So, I, and I really appreciate that. It's tough sometimes when someone comes in and they're kind of down a little bit. But I mean, as far as the weightlifting side, the exercising part of it, I mean, she is stronger, a lot stronger. Her endurance is a lot better. When we first started off, getting through the sets were tougher, but now it's at a point where it's not a problem for her at all. She'll give me the extra rep. Once you lose weight, especially if you have a lot to lose, you have to tighten it up, and it takes a lot more time than just taking the weight off. So reshaping the body, I guess, is something that I'm working on. So I, a lot of people will see me and go, oh, how much weight have you lost? And, like, no, not really any, but they're like, you look so different. Just invite a friend. You know, a lot of people are scared to come and work out in a facility because they may look this way or they may look that way, but the only person that's worried about your image is yourself, so take care of that. It's easy whenever you're working out with other people to compare yourself to them, so I try not to do that because everybody's at a different level, and we're really good about um, encouraging each other at whatever level we're at. I think more of our thing is accountability about getting here, so are you going to the gym today? Hey, I'll see you there. Because it is so easy to go, okay, nobody's gonna be there, so I might as well just go home. It did start off as helping a friend, but now a friend is actually helping them when they started out to help a friend. So the reverse effect, and I mean, that, that's great. It's not just my journey. I feel like, like we're all in it together. It's a free service, a great service to our, our staff um, for the district. You have free personal training. Uh, a way to you know keep records of what you're doing. You have your own personal workout. It's not the same as someone else's, but it's catered for you and to you. I'm very grateful because I don't think without all of those tools that I could be as successful as I need to. I mean, I, I know what I need to do, but to have somebody else telling me, yes, you're doing it right, or no, let's tweak this, or have you even tried that, it just really helps me out. 